Dear colleagues, the purpose of this video is to show capsular axis, hydrodissection, and safe nucleus management in this hard cataract. The nucleus sclerosis of this cataract is about grade 5 or even more. By this time, the incisions have been made, the capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye, and now this is viscoelastic substance. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose injected into the entry chamber. Now, this is a 26 case bent needle. I'm using this to incise the anterior capsule and raise a capsular tag. I hold this tag with a uterator forceps, go anticlockwise, and perform a very large capsular axis. Yes, quite large, about 6.5 millimeter or even 7 millimeter. Because if we do large rexis, nucleus management in this heart cataract will be easier. The genular stress will be less and you will see the advantage. Now, hydrodissection. 27 gauge cannula with BSS is used. We go just underneath the anterior capsular rim and inject a very adequate amount of fluid and the nucleus is ballotted and it is mobilized. That's it. Now we are ready to use the FECO energy to conquer this hard cataract. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 FECO machine from Switzerland. I am going bevel down in FECO 1 mode with 90% FECO energy, flow rate 25 and vacuum 70 millimeter of mercury. And what I'm doing is I'm just making a crater in bevel down position of the FECO tip. Why? Because if it is bevel down, occlusion becomes easy and more lens matter, more mass from the nucleus can be sculpted out by each application of energy. Now, after going to sufficient depth to some extent, then I make the bevel off and do some more sculpting and then I go to FECO 2 mode and this is the fast job. Yes, I don't do much lateral separation. I am taking adequate care of the genules. Now what I am doing is, I am rotating this mass 180 degree and I can see the crack and along that crack I am applying opposite forces and see this hard nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei. Now each heminucleus is being chopped again to divide it into two parts. This is the other heminucleus. It is also being chopped into two parts. And now, each heminucleus is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy. The FECO energy being used in this FECO2 mode is 85%. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. I have came out to inject some more viscoelastic substance. You can see some air bubbles which are sticking to the corneal endothelium and just see occasionally have a look that these air bubbles are not moving, indicating that I am at a safe distance from the corneal endothelium and the fluid turbulence is not disturbing 
these air bubbles these sentinel air bubbles means the endothelium is protected i am protecting the corneal endothelium i am emulsifying these nuclear fragments at the iris plane and being at the center of the anterior chamber always because the anterior chamber depth is maximum at the center i have counted in this case there's there are about 50 air bubbles sticking to the corneal endothelium and they are not moving you can see they are like standing like 50 soldiers in a row in different rows to protect the corneal endothelium you can see you can see that the air bubbles are not moving this is the last portion of the nucleus i have removed the chopper to make the antechamber more stable surge is not there but still to make the anterior chamber more stable i have removed the chopper that's it the hard nucleus has been conquered and now some viscoelastic substance is injected and the little bit of cortical matter is there you can see there is no epinucleus because the epinucleus has been incorporated in this case into the nucleus little bit of cortical matter is there i have used 23 gauge simco cannula to remove those cortical matter and now i inject viscoelastic substance and implant this intraocular lens this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens it is being placed in the capsular bag and now the viscoelastic substance is thoroughly cleaned first i have used simco cannula to irrigate and aspirate some of these viscoelastic substance now i am using the irrigating proof after thorough cleaning of the viscoelastic substance i hydrate the side ports and do this final anterior chamber lavage and then conclude the case see how i form the anterior chamber and see how the main wound is there is no wound burn this is the magic of Oatly. thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in managing your heart cataracts